good morning youtube friends and family uh back on this pontoon boat uh there was a flaw in the slaw already um the conduit strap that i purchased so i can mount that to that frame well i only allowed myself a half inch overhang and i had that problem so i measured that and i need another three quarters so i need about a inch and three inch and an eighth overhang for to use that conduit strap so i got this bar marked and i yeah, know this is after all i have it all painted and everything got it marked i'm gonna cut that out another a little over three quarters of an inch i should have enough overhang then and then i gotta repaint it before i ever can put it back on the boat so i'm gonna go ahead and cut that shoot several coats of paint right there it's pretty warm today so it shouldn't take that long to dry and then uh i think i got a fix for my trolling motor i'm gonna say i have to go over there and play with it and pull out the frame so give me give me a few minutes to get that pulled out cut out cut out and i'll pull that frame out and then yesterday i watched my video on youtube and i noticed it didn't have the end of the video it showed that laying on the boat and how good it actually looked so after i get it cut out painted and mounted i'll show y'all what it looks like because the end of my video wasn't even there i'll be back okay while my paint's drying on that board i can't mount it so i'm up here tinkering and playing uh this is what i'm thinking about doing this is not big enough but taking a some pretty thick flat stock and this is not wide enough at all i'll need some least least some four inch taking some flat stock and going through the factory holes painting it black too and then uh I had a board over here. Guess I carried it off. Uh, okay. I went and got my board. And I'm putting a board and drilling through there. Just like so. I hope you all can see that. A four inch in the board. And then I can mount my transit in the middle. And granted, that doesn't have to be that. The longer, the better. That's probably the perfect size board right there. I mount that in the middle. And put my trolling motor in the middle. Oh, that's the only idea I have right now, but I need some water strap because I don't think I can, I don't think that's long enough to cut in half and weld it together. I'll have to measure it. I need a minimum of 19 inches on that strap. And I don't know if I can weld it together and make me a, a tall enough strap. I'm trying not to spend any money here. Now it's two inch. Let's see here. Oops, sorry guys. Oh, it's 41 inches long. That might be an option. Of cutting it in half. Well, actually, I'll have to cut an inch off of it then cut it in half and then weld it together on both sides. That might be an option. Um, actually, I had another use for that and I really don't want to use that for that. I guess I'll just have to go to the metal store on Friday uh, with all my other errands so so that's what i'm looking at and you know i could try it on just the right side or left side and see if it pushes the boat straight but i don't know i'm getting kind of concerned all right got boys and girls uh got my board mounted um I use inch and a quarter conduit straps uh they're a little loose I'm going to do some digging see if I can't find an old boss, bicycle tube or something. But that board ain't going to go nowhere. Um, I sprayed clear coat over all the heads of the screws. Uh, I didn't want my screws black. I didn't want those contour do it, deals black. Um, just in case I ever wanted to reuse them in the future. I don't even know if you can see them in the video. There you go. That's what I did. I sprayed clear coat over all those screw heads maybe it'll help prevent them from rusting and if they do rust they rust it ain't no big deal um so that's how the board looks i had to go about an inch and a quarter overhang on my board so if anybody if y'all decided 
buy one y'all want to do this it's an inch and a quarter on the front uh overhang and then i'm gonna tell y'all a funny story i wanted some sort of tape uh, fishing tape or something so i could measure my fish because in some instances instances you have to measure your fish especially on walleye in texas they have to be so long before you can keep them at 16 inches um you can have a couple littler than 16 inches but you have to know you know you have to know your size of your fish so you don't get a ticket well i got online and i was doing some looking on ebay gander mountain academy all i had was fish measuring boards they didn't have a sticker well that kind of upset me so i was getting kind of frustrated because i really just wanted a sticker and then then i was going to get this morning i was going to get in the truck and go buy one of those four dollar boards to mount on this boat that's what the mother three screws are on this side well i started thinking about it and every year i go to a farm show and every year i get this so this is what i decided to do every year I get a free yardstick at the farm show. And you gotta be careful, sometimes you get the metric ones, the meter sticks, but this is honest to God yardstick. So what I did is I took the yardstick, took a hacksaw, and cut it off at 22 and a half inches. Any fish that's longer than 22 and a half inches, uh, it's, it's gonna get pictures and it's gonna get shown on YouTube. Oh, uh, I don't think I've ever caught that long of a fish. So I cut the yardstick, and it's not in the greatest shape, but I'll probably get another one next year free at the farm show. Um, then I clear-coated that because I couldn't paint it, so I clear-coated all the edges and everything to help try to get it where it was not, you know, water wasn't going to get in there and hurt it. And then I did the same thing. I clear-coated the tops of the screws. But there you go, guys. I have... A mounted fish measuring deal and it was free so you don't have to spend money on a lot of your projects if you just look around and think and then I measured all my screw holes made sure they were all even and next year I'll get another yardstick at the farm show and if this starts showing I'll just put it up until this one starts showing that I can't read it or whatever then I'll just remove it cut me another yardstick clear coat it put it on here but i can i can continuously clear coat this top you know every year or whatever so let me back up and there is my board um that i put on there that leaves me room to mount a depth finder on the left side the yardstick is the left side i know in the video it shows to be the right side but it's backwards when you're sitting on it that's the left side and then it leaves me room on the right side to put my pole pole mounts, not not my pole. Um, oh, I forgot what they're called. Not my pole holders, but my pole mounts on the right side. Um, so I think it's coming along real good. The only other thing that I think I might want to do is buy a shorter base for the seat. Let me pause this video and let me show you why. Oh man, I just stepped on a snail and I killed him. I didn't even know he was up here. Guess the puppy brought him up here. Don't lick that. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. See how high that chair is? Now I wanna sit down and I wanna have my legs in the water with flippers. And I can measure that. That's the only thing I can do right now because I don't have the pontoons on there. But I can measure that and measure from the length of my knees. And I can already probably tell you that that's too high to use flippers. So I do want a swivel base. So, you know, I'm sitting up inch, inch and a half already. So that, if I want to use that particular chair, I'm going to have to get just like a three inch swivel. And I'm afraid a three inch swivel might be too high. I might have to just set it all the way down on the, the deal. But that's something I can play with after I air up the pontoons. 
but I'm guaranteeing you that's too high to use flippers on. I couldn't kick. But I just wanted to give you another update on this pontoon boat. I've been working on it pretty diligently. I don't go fishing for... I have three more Saturdays before I go fishing. But this time I want to be prepared and not try to load everything up and fix everything the morning I leave to go fishing. And this is the first time I use this boat. So I want to make sure everything is 100% up to snuff. So, anyway, if y'all like my videos, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I think I already said this, uh, I edited that other video yesterday when I first started doing the board, it never showed the board on the boat, I don't know why, I didn't notice it until after I watched the video on YouTube, but there you go, thank y'all.